Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Hello? Hello? Yes, my brother. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And then, no, please go ahead, my brother. You didn't speak. Go ahead. Yes, uh, mm. uh, but uh, what can we do as the as people, we the people that are voting leaders, so that uh, when we vote for a leader, uh, the judiciary is, is respected, the police is respected, the SEC is respected, the three arms of, okay, let me just put the three arms of government of, of governance are, 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 are respected. Mm -hmm. What can we change so that, you know, it's like more like if we want to but using a fee, but mm. using a to voter. Mm. Me, I don't, I don't remember the last time my MP came to, to my constituents. I don't remember. But during the my elections, I want to pressure. You mm. know, what can we change as a as a country so that uh, if things start moving? Because look, you are tabling an issue pertaining to uh I'm a I'm a problem is about UPND, whereby they're not delivering. Mm. Mm. But at the same time, there is a reason why they are not delivering. Mm. It's because they have failed. Mm. Mm. But if we mark and if we want to all in the quarter, because it, it seems even our rights, clearly the people of rights, that you have got the right to assembly, you have got the right to association, you have got all these non candidate people. But in our land of your country, the concern was to shine, one for two quick at one for two treason, one for You know, where are we going as a country? So, Nathan Devon Gupsha, what can we do that even our police they start operating professionally? Because, thank you, my brother. I've heard your question, I've heard your question. I've heard your question. Let, me, let me respond, and it's a very important oh, question. All right. It's a very important yes, yes. question. What do we do mm -hmm. as people? To our vote, but now we to the fire. Eh? To at to land the but to me now we are going What are we going to do? This is why number one, a country is ruled by a constitution. A country is ruled by a constitution, and the constitution must be followed. So the first thing is that in this country we need to look at the constitution, and our constitution has got weaknesses. Weaknesses, for example, where the president has got too much powers, okay, such that the Amma judges, you know, Amma judges, they are not independent. We think that the, the judges are independent, but they are not independent. So we must have a system. Yes, on the judges, I think they, they shouldn't be appointed by the president. They, we, the people, Exactly. Exactly. Not president. That is number one. Number two, they must be able to be professional. Exactly. So number one, the constitution. The constitution is different to our nation. No, our UPND, a provision of power, that we are not constitution. Ah, if you are the opposition, we are under the constitution. But you should be ten. We should be ten. But you should today. At young that we say for the constitution is not. Now no, but that is different. So that's why the country. The country is not. 
That's why Indiana is talking about it. You never get to a certain kateka. Who go to Mutima? Wamana na commitment. Na commitment ya kuri ya kuchinda constitution. Ni akwat na ishwata. Okay, kamba fu e kofi. And yet you never get to a certain kateka. Who go to Mutima? Wamana na commitment. Na commitment ya kuri ya kuchinda constitution. Ni akwat na ishwata. Okay, kamba fu e kofi. And we might not yeah. be good because it will be first time mwamo balungu na wakati wa ile experience so kutiba to afwako ukupanga constitution but then banna chimbi banna chimbi what now land the chimbi to masa no ba kunda fia fili kwa fio zif what do we do ndefo kulando ko ibati ifo na ifo fwe ben fwe ban tule fuluwa ko limo tule fuluwa ko limo limo to afuluwa ukwe bati ntafwe me for example, what can we do? We can demonstrate. Demonstrations are part of democracy. We should not be stopped from demonstrating. If people are not happy, people should be allowed to demonstrate. So where things we should be able to demonstrate peacefully. Zambians body to chibari to titikisha. We don't even think about demonstrations, but I want to tell you that among demonstrations, they are part of democracy. We should be able to demonstrate. So to that point, I said, "Yo, back up, pokola watu kanya. What, what, what? Sometimes you come from afi mo afuma. Na waka pokola we never is some way that join in. Not to come home, ah, ah. Mo afi that join in. Eh. Okay, then now I just want to guide you on some something. You being the man who was the handle in the show. There are some callers that have heard that they, when they go in the wrong nani kani, wambo kula nandi fia ma fia fia nso fia, kwa sabu ya namana iti, you must at least tell them to to retract their statements because they can they might throw things in your mouth which you haven't allowed on your. No, but you you heard me that I you you heard me I corrected that I did correct I said we need be so I did correct I did correct. Hello. Hello. Hello, Mr. President. Yes, yes. Good evening. Good evening. Yes, sir. I just want to contact where, a bit. Where um, are you calling us from? I just see this number. I think I think when you see the code, the code it will tell you. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah, please go ahead. Yes. Mm. Yes, sir. Um, uh, yes, as you said earlier on, you know. Our constitution it has got a lot of lacunas. It needs to be it needs to be uh, amended. Mm. That constitution is a colonial one, old old constitution. Mm. It has given a lot of powers to the president. Mm. You see, because mm. you know, um, as the previous caller said, mm. there is no way the president can appoint the chief justice. Imagine once mm. he once he, he does that, which means you know. Uh, uh, judiciary has already been compromised. Mm, mm. It's not supposed to be like that. Mm. Look at the way the, the, the police are doing. They are arresting people anyhow mm. because of what? Our constitution is too weak. Mm. It has given a lot of powers to the president. Mm. Believe me, you, I wish we can have a president one day who's going to be bold enough and look at the constitution. It needs to be overhauled. Mm. It has got a lot of loopholes. Mm. Mm. That's why you've seen all these things which are happening right now. It's because of the constitution. Mm. Yeah. I think that's what I wanted to say. Thank you thank so you. much. Thank you, my brother. Thank you, Andy. Thank you for following. You woke up. Mm. Hello. 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 Hello? Hello? Yes, Mr. President, how are you? Fine, fine, thanks, how are you? Good. Um, this is Zul Brian speaking. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to talk about the... Hello? I need to wake up. Hello? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, sir. We can hear you now. Yes, uh, sir. I think uh, things are not okay about uh, these uh, young drivers on the ground there. Mm. Uh, this uh, transport minister, Frank Diary, I don't think uh, he's, he has the, any good idea about uh, these youths. Because when you look at the prices of young, the prices are low. Slow My brother, 
my brother, the issue of Yango, this issue has been coming on my fora, has been coming to me. The issue for me, I have told you, Yango doesn't have vehicles. They don't have vehicles. It is you people who give them vehicles. It is you people who subject yourselves for them to treat you like that. Why don't you call for a countrywide stoppage of giving Yango vehicles such that one day there are no Yango drivers working? Why don't you do that? Eh? Why do you keep on complaining about Yango, 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 and yet more what you name your talk? Why do you give them vehicles? Don't give them vehicles. Counsel, leave that shit up. Then Yango will listen to you, but you, you keep complaining, but never pay any your talk. Eh? Umuntu, ule in the long distance at 15 kwach, long distance at 20 kwach, and you keep going there, but you are complaining, and yet it's your vehicle. Nimwe wa mweka, eku, eku pwala la ndanda poku. Eku pwala la ndanda poku, fwebe na zambia, tu wali pwala la. You, moto kayobe wa ishtila, wa ishtila moto kayobe. Wa amu pera, wa amu kita subscribe kulika kampani. And you are not getting anything. At the end of the day, you are losing our spare parts, you are losing our tasks. It's very bad. Why are you giving them yeah, vehicles to, to, to Yango? Stop giving yeah, them vehicles. It's very, it's very bad, but the, the way the, the minister answered the drivers, it was very, very bad. I, I don't okay, even want to talk about the minister. I don't even want to talk about the minister. It is you. Stop giving them vehicles. That's it. Stop giving them vehicles. Hello? Hello? Yes, Hello, yes. Good evening, Mr. President, and how are you? Fine, fine, thanks. Yes, yes. No, it's just that today I'm late. I could not uh, follow you, but I think for the, for the previous two programs I've been following. Thank you. Yeah, um, yeah you know, uh, I want to say that I don't, uh, I don't hate the church, mm. neither do I hate uh, Lungo. But mm. the thing is that why why we are the times are trying to point at him it's because of the experience and he has learned from his mistakes mm. so mm. when he goes there mm. he is able to to do he's able to he knows that he's going to mess up when again he messes up mm. so he knows he has got the experience he has got the expertise so what we need for our country to change is to have such kind of an experienced person to be there mm. otherwise mm. at the moment they have failed. And mm. those people that are saying they have just ruled for two years, uh, six months, don't they remember that within two years, Michael Chilfia said that he launched 8,000 things Zambia, we started seeing yeah. those projects. We launched the construction of mm. hospitals, he showed the direction mm. that we are going to have these things, mm. we are going to have these things, mm. we are going to have these things, mm. you know. Within two, three years, mm. there was that change, and Walungu just came and finished whatever was it, was Stop. made to be done, yes. you know. So, the, 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 we, are, we, are, we are in trouble right now, and um, we need someone to unify, and we need an experienced person. Mm. That is the only way we are going to get out of this ditch, the where we are right now. So otherwise, um, I encourage you, I wish you well in your journey and in everything that you are putting up out there and uh, be strong and uh, whatever pressure will come on your way, please face it as it comes, but know that God is on your side Thank and you. know that nothing will happen on you until we achieve that which we want to achieve. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you very much, my brother. Hello. Hello. What? Uh, good evening. Good evening. Yeah, this is uh, Kelvin from Kawamu. Yes, yes, sir. My Kelvin. Uh, well, in the Mikonka Sun, uh, and actually your program is very educative, and uh, some of us know what we are going to do news if it is at NBC. If only in the Tremikon Cafe we are able to be updated about what is happening around the, um, the, the country. Mm. So it's a very educative pro program and uh, yourself you are very much informative. Just keep it up to do the work that you are doing. But I just quickly want to, to ask you something Yes. Uh, about the... Uh, um, I've been expecting you to talk to dis to discuss it. Now, mm. uh, the issue has been quiet. Mm. Uh, Which one? 
e god basanga a god e god basanga na copa um na refuida on, on international news zambia was discussed yes 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 of, yes of which we've had bill gates mm. and camera mm. they are yeah but they are even fighting over it um now the issue has been too quiet because mm. we are going to Vatanga, we need to benefit as zambians but uh, nothing has been discussed over it so if it were me shiba we should have gone and do am amen so on what is happening if you've not followed it up or do like you to to discuss it ngamwa kwa na mwa tapo in kwa ifrifiol Muntu Andi I want to say thank you very much for bringing uh, that to my attention I know about it but you know I I have I didn't consider it but I I spoke about it earlier on to say I want to discuss the minds so I will uh, talk about that I'm actually putting it in my diary so that uh, I can do a research and make a presentation on it basically ukutrea kunda nishi and I want to inform everyone that you can suggest topics for me to discuss i'll be able i like to research once i research once i uh, make calls here and there i'll be bringing those issues and discuss them objectively as a patriotic zambian so thank you very much on that one i will definitely come back to it probably next week all right thank you sir have a productive night you too my dear thank you hello Hello, good evening, Mr. Tai. Good evening. Uh, I just want to make a, a contribution. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, on the issue of the, uh, how to reduce the powers of the president. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is just a topic I had with my colleague on, uh, on Monday, uh, mm -hmm. where I suggested that he, for us to be safe, uh, mm -hmm. for the three wings of government to be independent, mm -hmm. One, and we subject the chief justice to be also elected so that he, we say, oh, the qualifications for one to stand as a chief justice mm -hmm. should be maybe 20 years experience as a judge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that person should be independent, mm -hmm. meaning that if that person, when elected, the winner becomes the chief justice. Mm. Um, becomes the deputy chief justice. And these two shall be responsible for appointing judges. Mm. Meaning that the, the judiciary is completely independent. The president can't fire the chief justice, can't fire a judge. Mm. Then coming to the... It's also the speaker should be elected and the qualification should be someone who has been a judge for 15 to 20 years mm -hmm. or someone who has been a member of parliament with a lot of experience like Mwimbu, Rubinda and the rest. Those mm -hmm. who have done maybe more than three terms in parliament. Mm -hmm. And they should be independent. Mm -hmm. Meaning that the arm, the executive arm of the government will not interfere with the speaker because the speaker will have the mandate. Mm. from the people and the chief justice also who have the mandate from the people mm. by so doing it means the president the won't interfere with these other wings yeah so my brother uh, you are very right yes. let me uh, um you know uh, just i think two to two, two, two or three days i was in south africa i think like what they do in south africa is very good you know in south africa judges including the chief justice they apply so there is an advert and then they apply and when they apply they are interviewed by members of parliament members of parliament coming from all political parties okay they are interviewed publicly nama cameras journalists are there and they are asked questions and from there, that is how they select a judge and the chief justice. So for me, that is one way that we can use. Mm. So I agree with you. We need a situation where, you know, people are the ones who are choosing these 
these judges. Hello? Hello, good evening, Matad. Good evening. How are you? <coughs> fine, fine, thank you, sir. Uh, so this is uh, I'm calling in from Spain. Okay. So I started following you when you had uh, done your voice. Okay. So now I'm trying to do it now. At some point, uh, growing up, you have been able to inspire me. We used to look at, okay, we, we have some kind of youth who are vibrant in this country. Then the future is bright. Zambia. Unfortunately, things have changed. Mm. I don't know how I want to be polite or I can be in such a time, but I don't know whether you have the right moral standing whatsoever to try and suggest that the uh, HTH is worth in terms of uh, what you have done in this country as compared to Edgar Humbo. I don't know, you're not living the time when this year was over. I don't know if you're not in the country or you're in another country where you were not working or seeing what was on the ground. For you not to see that Haga in the children has come change the day. So, sir, wait, sir, wait a minute, sir. So, so, hello? I can hear you, sir, right. Hello? Oh, you can, you can hear? Yeah, Yeah, very good. I want us to have a good conversation. So, from your point of view, you are doubting my morality because I am supporting uh, Edgar Chagwalungu. I'm saying Edgar Chagwalungu. Uh, should come in. So, and you, you are doubting my morality. What about me if I doubt your morality uh, in supporting Haka in the Ichirema when things are so bad in the country? What would you say? Okay. So, in, thank you very much. So, you know, I just doubt my morality because of that. Yeah, uh, we can't hear you properly. Please speak through the mic. I think he, you are using him. Uh, I'm, I'm using him. Sorry, I'm using him. Can you hear me now? Yes, yes, yes. Better now. Mm. Okay. Mm. So what I was trying to say, in terms of morality, mm. you okay. supporting Ed Garum, you want him to come back, and me supporting Ed, who okay. has done so much in this country. I'll give you just two examples. Mm. How many people were killed under the watch of Edgar Lungo when he was president. And tell me if the situation is the same today. This country is very peaceful. We don't have police brutality. A lot of things have happened. You've seen how uh, uh, these opposition guys have been there with the police. Have you ever seen for what happened recently for Emmanuel Mwamba and of course that was confusion. The police must step up when there are problems in the country. But the police are not the the police target here, if you want to be objective, was very bad, was very worse. And even if you go and ask police officers under the regime, things were not okay. But now you have a president who has a heart for the country. Things are okay. Of course, there are challenges there and there. But in terms of comparing between and the case, I don't know what you mean. Okay. So, so, my brother, I take it yes. that is your view, eh? Let's agree that that is your view, isn't it? Okay, good. Now, let me give you my view. Let me give you my view. My view is that today we have a semblance of relative peace. And that peace is because the ones who were causing problems, the ones who were violent are in power. That is my view. UPND was very violent. Haka in the Ichirema. I'm giving you my view. You gave your view. Let me give you my view. No, I heard you are making sounds. So I want you to hear now. Uh, just like I heard. 
Mm -hmm. So, my view is that Haka in the HDM and UPND, they were very aggressive. They were violent. And this brought about the clash between the cadres and the police. And I can give you an example. We have Mapatizia formula where people died. You are saying uh, how many people died? Yes, a number of people died. But how did they come into clash with the police? For example, the people that you talk about, like he, you know, Samansa Sama died, uh, Francis died. Those people, what happened? Haka in the HDM was called to go to police. And instead of going alone, Haka in the HDM went with more than 50 buses. And the police yes, crashed. Yes, yes. Ah, let me finish, Baba. Yes, yes, yes. Let me finish. He was caught. Okay. He was caught and he went with more than 50 buses. And, I, and if you want to imagine, myself I've been caught to police many times. Imagine if I also went with 50 buses, what would happen? What would happen? Recently, Edgar Lungu went to see Nakachinda at, at Kawata police station. Edgar Lungu, he didn't have so many people around him. He didn't have not even 10 buses. Not even 10 buses. But far, far tear gases were, were thrown. You see? And then, the other issue that uh, uh, you are talking about, to say the police are better. Me, where I am, I have been arrested 10 times. 10 times. And I have been raided. Uh, uh, boss, I'm giving, you, I'm giving you my views. I have been arrested 10 times. I have been raided in my house. In my house. They have broken my house. They have gone into. So how can you tell me, me who have gone through this? Okay, you are saying because I'm careless, because I'm talking. If I, the way you are talking yourself, do you think it, it is justified for police to come and raid your house? To come and destroy your house? To come and, you know, uh, break doors? Do you think it is right? I have not said anything at all that puts our country No, but do you think it is right? What are the many things you've been saying? Yeah? What are the many things you've been saying that? Okay, let me... Okay, you've, you've spoken a great deal. And then the only opposition is the military. How many times have the police also gone to internal in South, for instance? Because you are, you are not the only, you are not the only opposition. Okay. Okay. I hear you. I hear you. So let's let's change it. Let's change it. I'm not the only opposition. Meaning, I'm doing something wrong, isn't it? Okay. So what you are saying is that I'm not the only opposition, and yet these other opposition, they are not followed the way I'm followed. Meaning, I'm doing something wrong. Is that what you are trying to say? In some instances, of course. Okay, good. Very, well, very good. So now, I want you to indict me. I want you to run me down. Cases that I've done. To say, this is what you are doing. Give me the cases which justifies what the police are doing to me. Give me, just give me three. If so, if you remember, they were outside that question. I would be very unfair to suggest that every time you talk, you are careless. But in most instances where the police followed you, they have the belief, so the strong belief. Oh, well, no, you are, kind of you are supporting them. So you tell me, according to you, to say here, what you said was wrong. Tell me. Three, just three. Oh. So in support, so, in the, so now, I don't want you to tell my arguments. I want my arguments to be independent in supporting the way the police is run in this country today. And I'm making a comparison, uh, especially when this year was president, said the police is better today. And in most cases, it's because they are banned by politicians. I don't want to single out yourself. Uh, no, but I'm, to... I'm giving up. No, uh, you, you say you don't want to single me out because you have already singled me out. You are saying you are not the only politician. So you have singled me out. I am the problem here. So now tell me what is my problem so that I change my brother. Tell me what is my problem. I want to change. I want to live in peace. Tell me what is my problem. Okay, 
also the time for the for the transaction is by the police you even appear in court. You are very certain that all the times there's nothing wrong that you are done. Ah, that's why I'm telling you that tell me so that I can change. Tell me. So look, just be an objective person. Just be an objective person. Criticize where it is due. My brother, let me let me allow let me allow others. We have spoken for ten minutes. I'm sure people have heard. You know, frankly speaking, I mean, it, it, the, the, pro, the issue is that when everything is okay for you, you think it's okay. Uh, because it's happening to daddy, it's okay. But I can tell you that dictators, one day they will come for you. One day it will not be true for daddy. Many of you come here and accuse me this and that. But really, me, I just speak about national issues. I just offer checks and balances. When something is wrong, I talk about it. That's what I do. You want me to be praising Aka in the HDMI. You don't want me to say things which are wrong. No, it's not supposed to be like that. That is not democracy. And I will not stop talking. I'll keep talking. Anyway, for tonight, basically I was, I was trying to uh, tell you that Baka in the HDMI is worse than uh, Edgar Chagualung. Is worse. Why is Haka in, why is it why is Haka in the HM waste than Edgar Chagwalung? Because the HH number one has is looking at he has policies, good policies for foreigners, and he has bad policies or no policies for the locals. This is the difference. And one example that I've given you is the IMF. Edgar for a long time. He resisted, he refused the IMF. They would have signed, they would have reached far, but he refused because of the consequences of the IMF on the Zambian people. We are suffering right now mostly because of the policies that IMF has brought in. We have taken away subsidies from Zambians, but we have given subsidies to foreigners and rich people, which is not right. The other issue that I've said is that how can they reach them? He seems to be lost in leadership. He doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't know where he's going. And therefore, we cannot be inspired that where we are going, Haka in the HDMI will do things. He has already done one and a half years or two and a half years. These two and a half years, he has shown that he has no direction. And definitely, there is nothing that he's going to do in the remaining time. Or what will be happening will be suffering. The other issue is how Baka in the has divided this country. Much as tribalism was spoken about even during the time of uh, Arabi, during the time of HH, during the time of Ed Galungu, this time around it is so apparent. We have more than 500 people more than 500 people Mchalo. This is a fact. More than 500 people, civil servants, who have been removed. Based on what? Most of them based on where they are coming from. This is not right. Go into the offices now. Go into government offices. The people who are there, they are coming from one region. Look at the government hierarchy. Most of them, they are coming from one region. They, the, arm, the, the three arms of government is being controlled by people from one region. This is what the president, late president, our founding father, President uh, Kaunda, spoke about. He didn't specify. He said, I am scared of that man. That man will divide the country. It has come to pass. Haka in the HDMI has divided the country. Much as Raed Garungo had his own weaknesses, certainly the country was not as bad. When you talk about the commodity prices, the economy as it is, it is so bad. Because the Haka in the HDMI, the economy is based on IMF, which he doesn't even seem to understand. And apart from that, the Haka in the HDMI it is a man that lives in his own dreams. He lives in his head. He lives a, a, a fake life, a mythomaniac life, a mythomaniac life, life yawfi. Bahaka in the HDMI keep lying, keep lying. Never feel he's a man that will come and stand up and tell you lies. 
And the question that I'm asking is that for how long are you Zambians going to accept that you can't see? Are you going to allow Wakaimirechilema to come back and lie to you again for another day? Instead of us saying, mm -mm, enough is enough. And I'm saying, Wakaimirechilema, that no, enough is enough. But the other thing is also that we have to know that Waka Imirechilema has employed a machinery, a rigging machinery. ECZ is a rigging machinery for Waka Imirechilema. Some of the security people that he has put, he has put them there to protect him and not to protect the country. I am saying Zambians, it doesn't matter who you are. You could be you could be a civil servant, you could be Kohiko, you could be you could be a, a a marketeer, you could be a soldier, you could be a police officer, you could be ZNS, you could be anything. As long as you are a Zambia, can we open our eyes and protect our democracy? Let us not allow Baka in the to continue, even when he has not won an election. We know Baka in the cannot win an election. And it is even very clear, even with the MPs, a number of MPs will not come back. They will not come back because of Baka in the A lot of MPs are failing to function. They are failing to function because Waka in the HDM has not given them policies on, on which they can work well and help the people. Some of the MPs are good, but unfortunately, because of the bad policies of Waka in the HDM, a lot of MPs are going to lose. Therefore, at the end of the day, I am calling upon all Zambians. Let us protect our country. If it means us going for elections tomorrow, let us go to the elections. At times we should be able to get up, we should get, be able to, to be serious and say, no, 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 this is too much. We can even demonstrate, as long as we do it peacefully, demonstrations are part of democracy. So, let us defend our country. Let us put our country back on track. Now, Dr. Asana, I'm grateful for your following. Please keep following me. Tomorrow I'll come back with another interesting topic which we'll talk about and I'll open phone lines as usual so that you can also uh, interact. I like it when you know people come and interact with me to oppose me. It is also good because that is what it should be. Umuntu nga kuchita oppose te kubati umuntu mira waka poko la aana. Kula nda fena nko mwa tarikana mwa tarikana. At the end of the day, you reach somewhere. Not mambo kutuma waka poko la. I have not done anything wrong in that country. I have not done anything wrong in Zambia myself. I have not done anything. Talking is not a crime. It is part of our freedoms. So why are you pursuing me like a criminal? Just because I've spoken. Immediately the show said, Nipa Facebook. Hey, wala andre pa Facebook. Wala andre pa Facebook. It's not supposed to be like that. Thank you very much. May God bless you. May God bless Zambi. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.